What is going on you guys? This is Techie Chi coming at you with a brand new unboxing video and also a little bit of a how-to video. Now what we're going to be unboxing is a mini USB to HDMI cable. Now basically what this is for is to hook up my phone and then basically what you do is you're able to record it if you hook it up to your capture card, you're able to transfer that file. Basically you hook this up to your phone and then you get an HDMI cable, you hook that up to your capture card and then you're able to record and make a couple of videos playing with your phone. And I know a lot of YouTubers do this with their iPhones because they, because Apple provide you with that AV adapter where it's able to transfer it from a lightning, from a lightning cable to an HDMI cable. And so for Android, it's a little bit different. So this is going to be down in the description below if this works. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to hook everything up and how to set it up so that you guys can make videos. And this is a little bit on the pricey side on Amazon, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. It supports 4K, which is great because my phone supports 2K, which is 1440p. So this supports up to 2160p, which is 4K resolution. So that's going to be insane for later phones, for future phones. So this is going to be basically future proof. The only thing that sucks is that it's a micro USB and it's not going to be a USB, a type C cable. Hey, little one. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. We're going to have this one unbox it for us. <laughs> okay, so before we open this up, let's take a little bit of a look. You can see that it's the slim port. Once again, it'll be down in the description below if you guys want to purchase this. If you guys want to make YouTube videos and you guys want to play games on your phone and record that, this is going to be it. This is an HDMI adapter. Maximum is 4K Ultra HD 2160p. It's a micro USB to HDMI. You need the you need an HDMI cable basically. It just converts it, and then it says connect slim port, enable mobile device to TV, and you can see there's a little bit of a a picture of how it's supposed to be. You hook up your phone with the adapter, then you hook up your HDMI to the TV. For us, we're gonna be hooking it up to our capture card, and we're gonna see how this is. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it's in the bag, and then we got something else right here. Looks like it's a. Uh, how to hook everything up. It's the nano console. That's what it's called the best way to connect your slim port enable phone or tablet to the big screen So let's, let's take a look right here Basically you connect at up to 4k ultra HD you charge your phone or tablet at the same time So it has a micro USB on it as well navigate and run apps with the remote control HDMI and micro USB charging cable included. Is it really all right? So let's 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 see what this is Okay, so let's pull this out and here it is. Oh, it's protected. Let's see if we could get this. Everything's nice and protective. I mean, for the price, this is like the most expensive one that I found on Amazon. So, but people say that it works really well and I'm going to be using my LG V10 phone and they say it's compatible with it. So let's, let's see if it really does work. But I like the glossy color of it, the nice glossy black with the orange. And then over here as well, the micro USB, same thing, it's protected. So let's let's rip this open as well. Nice. All right, so we got all of it. And then you can see right here, there's another micro USB. So you could charge your phone at the same time when you're making a video or something like that. Got the micro USB right here. And then you got the full HDMI slot. So now you just need an HDMI cable and then you just hook everything up and everything should be working. So now what we're going to do, we're going to hook this up. We're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to hook everything up to your capture card and how to set everything up. So you are ready to record. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up. This is all that you're going to need basically to uh, record and get audio and video, good quality video. And also we're going to be transferring over to the computer as well. So I can show you guys the settings that I'm going to be using. So the first thing that we're going to need is a capture card. I'm going to be using the Elgato HD 60. You can see my little logo of my gaming channel. You're going to need another HDMI cable so that you can hook it up to the adapter. And then we got the adapter right here. You need an Android phone. I'm going to be using the LG V10 and then you need a pair of headphones because like, you know, when you're playing a game and if it's not connected to headphones, it's going to be echoing to the microphone and then that's going to create an echo effect and it's just going to be really annoying. So you want headphones. Now, the thing that sucks about Android for some reason is that when you hook up the HDMI cable and to your phone and then to your capture card, it's recording audio. But then when you hook up a pair of headphones through the 3.5 millimeter input, 
for some reason it doesn't record any audio it's just like a ps4 it cuts it off for some reason i seriously don't know why and it's really annoying so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the elgato chat link cable or you could get anything that's similar to that and it'll be down in the description below as well to amazon or to their website and you're just gonna need to hook that up and then it'll like create a separate amount and then you just go to the settings on the elgato and they'll record and you're able to use your headphones as well all right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set everything up. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get your little adapter. You wanna just connect that to your phone, it's right here. Then you wanna connect one end to the adapter. There we go. And then you wanna get the other end and hook that up to the Elgato. And just to let you guys know, I don't have the USB. It's, uh, it's in the back of my computer, but you get the point. You just hook this up to your computer, your laptop, or your desktop, whichever one. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to get the chat link cable, and this is all tangled up. And then you want to connect this end, this end to your phone. Let's get that. And then you want to get the other end, which is right here. And then you just want to hook that up to the Elgato or to your PC if you have the HD60 Pro. And then you just want to get the headphone part. And then you just want to hook it up right here. And then you are basically all set for audio. So look at this mess. It's honestly insane. But if you want to get the nice high quality from your phone and also audio, you're going to have to want to do this type of setup and you can organize it if you want. And also just to show you guys proof, I got my portable charger right here and we're just going to hook it up right here so that it could charge my phone. So I could just show you guys that it does work. And then you can see right there it is charging so like you could play and charge your phone at the same time so this is honestly insane this is the setup that you basically need now all you need is the other hdmi hook that up to your tv or your monitor and then you're all basically set have the other cable hook up to your computer and now we're going to go over to the computer and i'm going to show you guys the settings that i use on the elgato software all right you guys Okay, you guys, so now we are on the computer and I'm here to show you guys basically the settings that I am going to be using when I'm going to be recording my phone through the Elgato software. Now, if you guys did everything that I told you guys, all you have to do now is just go to your computer, open up the Elgato software. And what you want to do, you want to go all the way over here to the right, show device settings, want to click that. And then this is an Android phone, yes, but I keep it to the iPhone, iPod touch. I don't go to the other or anything like that. So I go to that and I change the audio input if you guys are using the Elgato chat link cable to analog audio otherwise it will not be recording any audio I keep it to expanded or standard whichever one expanded looks good but standard seems to provide like that more color vibrant so let's keep it to standard allow 60 FPS best quality depending on how good your graphics card is 1080p I don't like to put any uh, cropping because the way that the Android is set up you see that it says lightning connected it cuts off a little bit of up here and a little bit down here as well and if you go to dock connector it cuts off even more so I just like to keep it to none and then click OK and then the settings of the game audio set to zero and then this all depends on you guys the live commentary if you guys want to use a live commentary and the Elgato uh, sound capture I like to uncheck that because otherwise you're not going to be recording any audio and then you all basically set so now you could just record start recording on either portrait mode or in landscape whichever one is good for you guys depending on the game and you guys are all set all right, you guys, so here is the final result. I got Geometry Dash World on my phone, on my LG B10, and it's basically connected to my Elgato HD60, and then it's transferring over to my monitor. Now, the craziest thing is that this has no lag whatsoever between my phone and my monitor. I can literally play it on my monitor, no problem, or I could just play on my phone because it shows a little bit of better quality than on my on my monitor but the craziest thing is the reason it it just doesn't show any lag for some reason and the craziest thing is that i have it hooked up to my hdmi switch and then i have it hooked up to my capture card which is then hooked up to my monitor so it's like connected to three different things and there's still no lag whatsoever like i could seriously play on my on my monitor and not on my phone like i could just look at the tv and it's just no problem whatsoever and there's like no lag from when i'm pressing and it's just honestly insane like this is honestly crazy like I could just play on my monitor instead of playing on my phone like I could I could just switch back to my phone if I want to and it's like no problem there's no lag whatsoever when I 
when I play on my phone, there's no lag whatsoever. There's like no delay on the monitor at all. It's just honestly insane. So I definitely recommend this cable. The only issue that I see for people is the way of listening to audio you have to get that chat link cable if you want to basically hear with headphones and then still record the audio like that could be an issue but overall it's pretty insane and the fact that it provides you a way to charge your phone at the same time is nuts so there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and also this how to video on how to set everything up everything will be down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out if you guys want to purchase anything the adapter and the chat link cable anything like that hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always it's tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace